All right, let's do this. Um, excuse me for a minute here while I set everything up. I have not done this in a while. All right, there's my face. So, hello, hello. Uh, my name is Santera. I'm uh, one of the art leads here at Archetype. Uh, people might know me as Void Spawn online. Uh, I played things like TA. And um, so, what I thought I'd do in this first stream today is kind of cool. Um, it's not actually 3D modeling <laughs> as they uh, advertise it as, but what we're actually going to do is design a arena map and do things related to that. So we're gonna do make a map from scratch and see how that goes. Um, oh yeah, so please do tell me about the volume if it's if it's um, shitty. Um, like yeah. Um, I, sorry, I'm like, just my brain's freezing. Oh, right, so <laughs> the reason why uh, there might be some setup issues is because um, I actually had to do like Windows reinstalls and hardware stuff since my last stream, um, so please excuse that. But um, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Um, and so, the, um, actually I'm gonna my volume down a bit on my music if I can. Um, hmm. Right. So, um, arena map. Now we only have CTF in the game right now, um, but the thought is that um, I'm actually going to make an arena map now um, as a sort of prototype, so it might be awful. Um, Please forgive me if it is. It probably is going to be awful, but um, I'm going to make an arena map now, and then um, in another stream later today, Michael, one of our programmers, is going to actually start making the arena game mode. Uh, unless he bailed out, which I hope he didn't, because then I'd be kind of screwed and look like an idiot. But, um, well, we'll see. So, Unreal 4. Um, yeah, I'm basically just gonna wing it. I thought I would do this pretty freeform and not, um, you know, not um, plan too much. Maybe I'm just lazy. Um, you can decide. I gotta um, do some setup. Oh, hello, small kiwi. Welcome to the future of esports or something. So, uh, I'm gonna start with the landscape, obviously. Meaning the terrain. Um, it's actually gonna be, it's always a bit tough. Um, it's not easy to, um, to see exactly, um, sort of, what the scale is like, and that would be by phone which I need to mute, because I'm a clown. And I didn't do that. There we go. Right. Um, Perrin's tricky. Um, I actually... So, this is an awful idea, if you think about <laughs> making a well-planned stream. Uh, because I'm actually... This is like me almost entirely out of my comfort zone, but, um, you yeah. know, we'll see, we'll see, uh, -huh. also I'm probably gonna go way too slow to get um, something really good looking, um, just because it's like, it, it is actually really hard to do, um, or to get things done fast while you're, um, yeah, and I've 
got Slack notifications on, which is amazing. That should not be a thing. Thank you, Bugspray. That's gonna go now. Nice to see a lot of familiar names in the chat. <laughs> that is, um... Well, anyway. Um, and one thing I wanted to also, um, possibly include if, um, you guys have, um, any preference is, um... I like, I sort of let, um, you guys influence what I'm doing here. Um, in terms of choosing what type of environment it is um, from uh, snow or um, grassy or desert or whatever. Um, I thought that would be cool. I don't know. Let me guys. Let me know. Snow, all right. Snow it is. We'll do snow. Um, let's see. So, I'm not quite sure. Well, I think this will be okay. Uh, in terms of size, well, it's probably fine. So I'm gonna do first of all is just um, like some really rough sculpting. With um, the basic um, basic terrain brushes. Um, now you could do things in um, in programs like World Machine. Um, I guess especially with larger maps uh, and for more realistic things. But uh, well, we're prototyping, and uh, the style, or the art style, doesn't really require um, realistic terrain um, or realistic looking terrain from World Machine so we sort of don't use it that much I'm trying to catch up on questions here um, oh, obvious cough uh, obvious cough I guess that's um, I mean, director of bug spray, but I'll answer that. Um, we could do that technically, I guess, but currently um, we don't. Uh, all terrain works the same, which I don't think is. Um, I, don't know. I don't feel like that's massively important. Um, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, sort of. First, I suppose, is go into my snow stuff and um, right. I think I'm gonna just copy. Um, Oh god, that's awful. That is not the right one. It's not either. I actually wonder which one is it. Would have been this way preparing would have been better. Um oh well. I'm sure we can figure out which terrain material in it is. Borrow this one, but I need to tweak it. Um, I'm sort of doing things super quickly and messily, but uh, yeah, 
I probably don't even have a fucking. Oh god. <laughs> so. Um. Not really. Oh god, lighting. Lighting is awful. Am I mumbling? I'm, I'm terrible. Sorry, Grover. Groovar. I'm, um. Especially when I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. Doesn't, doesn't work that well. I'm also not a native English speaker, so that doesn't doesn't help me. Um, I need to probably change that one. Yeah. I have a feeling this terrain is like super big, and I've got the scale completely wrong, which could be the case. I'm just gonna test it real quick by um. Well, actually, I can kind of see it. Oh yeah, it's way bigger than I thought. This uh, <laughs> material uh, is a uh, more like a super quick thing that um, you can slap onto any terrain and it procedurally does things based on slope. Um, but yeah, okay. So, like, uh, like I thought, the um, I think the actual um, play area should be a bit smaller than that let's see I also want to include some building stuff in here um, but um, yeah we'll see how that goes one thing I should probably add, well, I should add all the atmosphere things as well. Maybe I'll do that in a bit. Um, right now I'm kind of just noodling. Um, I mean, like I said, this will probably be a disaster of a map. Um, it's, uh, well, I mean, if you don't even have a game mode, um, to test with, <laughs> and they're already making maps. Things are probably not gonna go well, but um, we'll see. Um, see how this turns out, and you can, you guys can sort of see see how these things work in the engine, which I thought would be at least fairly interesting. Um, yeah. So actually, before I do. Um, well, no. I think uh, I'm kind of split between um, mm, kind of split between doing something sort of essential feature as like a building or stuff or like. Well, I'm definitely not going to do a mirrored thing because mirroring is annoying, <laughs> even though it saves time. I guess technically. Anyway. Um, kind of split between doing something sort of work with a central feature and then all around it, or um, or some other layer. Uh, I think it's gonna be the uh, some sort of central central feature. So I'm gonna actually put it in. I don't want a cube. Let's do a BSP. SPs are all full, but we'll use them for now. Uh, um, let's see. I should not do that. I should do this instead. Right, so that's a thousand. Right, yeah. Getting a sense of scale when you don't have anything in the level yet is hard. I'm trying to catch up on questions. It's actually really hard when you get a lot of stuff. So 
I'll make uh, some sort of a center thing. <laughs> um, just to sort of orient myself around um, around what I'm yeah actually to get a nicer sense of scale I'll uh, drop a player model in there easier to see Um, and again, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, um, or if you want to just call me terrible because I'm kind of winging it, please feel free. Um, yeah, I'm actually not, yeah, I'm not sort of even sold on what kind of terrain might be best for dueling. It's, um, like a little, a lot of, lots of little bumps could be good, but then, like, that's also kind of like, I don't know, it might be a bit annoying. Um, it's definitely good terrain for skiing when you've got lots of little hills, but, um, sort of larger features and uh, yeah. and yeah project building structures that's what I was thinking um, so lots of buildings we'll have a central thing and then I'll maybe I'll scatter some other stuff around it um, actually I'll, um, I'll use noise because it'll give me uh, noise. Um, except that's way too strong. Um, easier to create variation like that. Although it's really strong, gets out of hand. If I'm missing any question, go, go, ah, sorry, I cannot into English. Please help. Um, if I'm missing any questions, uh, please uh, just repeat them. I'll uh, try to answer. Um, so we're gonna look at other buildings, things, and I really shouldn't scale things by hand here. So it's 2,000 by 2,000 units. Um, let me think. It's a pretty, again, I feel like our sense of scale is a bit, yeah. Player models are really tiny. This map is ginormous. Um, I'm gonna try to probably make it, yeah. If this is, um, smaller scale. Well, it's good to have, like, a bit of a larger terrain to work with than uh, just the play area because um, yeah, you don't want the terrain to stop obviously like um, exactly at the out of bounds because um, it doesn't look too good I'm gonna make this something like 5k by 3k sorry about my uh, keyboard, it's probably really loud Um, we'll put this sort of here-ish. Um, maybe we'll put another one on the other side-ish. Um, actually, no. Let's do it this way. Um, probably, um, probably got idea to scare around a bit. 
to see um yeah for example if uh, oh, this hill is like a weird blocker um so um lesson uh, lesson number one here uh, don't go into the map with no plan at all um <laughs> this isn't gonna end well but uh I'll power through. I'm also in base, I guess, without the pack, so skiing is a bit weird. Um, yeah, I feel like generally I'm gonna want the features to be a tiny bit smaller. Maybe at least some flatish areas. I wonder. It's gonna be interesting. Needs a frozen pond slash lake. Uh, yeah. Well, that'd be a cool idea. And generally ice stuff could be cool. It's um shame though that would just take way too long. Uh, I'm essentially not gonna have the opportunity to make any new assets. So I'm just gonna like go with what we have and use like Block out stuff and uh, kit bash. Um, kit bash some uh, stuff together. See how it goes. Um, It's awful, but um, well, it will have some or flat ish. This is um, oh, some sort of bridge or walkway would be nice on this one. Yeah, that could be cool. Um, hmm, I wonder. I can make that work. Um, I'm sure if I have many sort of finished assets that I'll, that could fit that, but um, yeah. Also, I need to tweak this material a bit. You guys can see the uh, parameters in action. Or I guess you can't see the parameters themselves, but uh, hey, whatever. Pillars in the middle of map, just like <laughs> fan favorite map TA, map in TA, or TA map rather, blue shift. Um, need to fiddle with these colors as well, not too much of a fan, or something weird happening here with. Um, that instantly looks a bit better. I'll actually um need to add some some stuff. I guess well the rain maps don't really need fog, but uh I'm so used to it now that I might as well add it. So exponential height fog and um I guess it can bring some some nice um atmosphere to it. 
Oh yeah, Sketch. I'm well aware of Blue Shift. I played about 3,000 hours of TA. That um, was quite the map. I, mean, I don't want to talk shit on people too much, but wasn't a very successful map. <laughs> um, questions, questions... Um, Gorganish is asking, I guess they're asking Michael, but uh, I'll answer that for you. Um, so will it be possible to purchase a different color for the disc? Um, it is very possible, or it's possible that that will be possible. It's quite likely that that will be possible. Um, in terms of um, whatever... Um, so will there be UK servers or European servers for instant access? We already have European servers, I believe, in uh, Germany, uh, which work fine for everyone around Europe who's testing the game at the moment. So, uh, yes. Although, actually, with the um, lag comp, um, it's... Um, actually very feasible to play on uh, something like New York servers from uh, from Europe um, and yeah well unless your connection itself is quite bad then obviously that'll be a problem but um yeah hyping itself isn't isn't too bad so another thing I'll add in addition to that is a um, post process volume and um, I can tweak the post process to really um, affect the look of the map and obviously the uh, lighting and the sky too and uh, I'll probably actually, good idea um, what am I doing? lightness importance uh, which will be um, we want that size, I guess, for now. It's fine. Do you keep slash gain momentum going up terrain? Well, I mean, if you're not jetting, then obviously not, but yeah, jets are the key. But no, we don't have jump skiing as in the older games. I'm also quite terrible at, um, at skiing, which is um, good stuff. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot for me to talk about while I'm sort of thinking, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but, uh, well, if there's any topic, um, so again, not sure if it was answered, will there be UK servers or European servers for instant access? Yes, there will be UK servers. Or no, not UK, but there are European servers already for testing, so, yes. Um, right, 
So someone's mentioning something about a bridge. I might try that. Um, maybe. Wonder how that would work though. Bridges are a bit. Void spawn, void. Small kiwi. Hi. Yes, lightning. <laughs> lightning. Did you say lightning? You said lightning. Uh, lighting does need to be rebuilt. Um, the joys of static lighting. The um, thing I'm actually going to do for that is that. Um, we've changed the uh, world light to, uh, to dynamic light for now. Dynamic lights are obviously not ideal. Um, although, well, whatever. But, um, yeah. <laughs> not gonna rebuild lighting on stream, don't worry. Um, so I'm gonna do. Right, I guess back to nudging the terrain. I still wanna get some better definition of sort of features like terrain features and then maybe I'll um, do stuff like adding rocks and shiz um, rocks of course the bane of all skiers but uh, well hopefully they won't ruin people's days too much Well, I guess these outskirts of the map don't matter as much, so we'll focus more on the... How about when I have my co-op in college in two years, I work for Archetype. You can contact us and we can talk about it. Uh, Jack Thug asks, are there mines? Um, I don't believe we have mines functional in gameplay yet. Uh, no, but um, they're definitely planned, I'm pretty sure. Um, they almost made it into sort of this uh, current patch that we're on, but uh, not quite. Right. I want to figure out other building things before I nudge the terrain around too much. Um. Can you MA mortar? Yes, you can MA mortar. It's quite hilarious. I was getting wrecked the other day by fire doing that. So, if we have some kind of a bridge thing, we'll have like a. Yeah, we could do that here actually. Why not? Oh, do that. It's 45. It's a bit too long. Will there be mind desking us Gaggins? And uh, I don't believe. We will have mind disking. Um, other more game designy people can uh, elaborate on that. 
uh, and the reason behind it. But um, the answer is no. about shield packs yes there are shield packs um what's the button of ten shield more night launcher do I not have shield interesting my binds probably don't work. Amazing. Oh well. Shield pack is in. You can see the <laughs> little um, text there on the bottom right. Um, my editor binds are probably just messed up because um, it's a bit weird in that regard. And skiing in heavy is a bit miserable. Especially this kind of thing. Oh yeah, good catch, Proj. <laughs> I'm uh, what they call a retard. Um, why is Zarya in this game? Hey, yeah, Mortar is a bit of a bit reminiscent of her gun, isn't it? Wow, this thing goes far now. Until uh, but until I get to see uh, real people playing and not just me, you know, dropping around on an awful map that I made in 20 minutes. Um, questions, questions. Why can we see the inside of the barrel on that thing? Um, what do you mean exactly, the sketch? I mean. Technically, you could see the inside of it if you looked from third person, I guess. But, um... You know. Uh, from first person, I guess. Mm, someone commented on the speed. Uh, yeah, the speed scale, or the scale of the numbers is a bit different to other games, so don't take anything from you know, the fact that I was going, whatever speed I was going. Um, um, I'll play around on your derby mouse in a time void. Thank you. Thank you. Just, uh... Well... I promise I'm not quite as bad at other things that I do. Um, level design just isn't my thing, um, or not my main strength, but I thought this would be an interesting thing to tackle. Um, and yeah. Blake in kind of expect killing streaks, orbital strikes, and proxy nades. Probably yes to the first one, probably. And no to this last two. Probably. Um, and again, if I'm missing any questions, please uh, just repeat them. Um, and it helps if you tag me, um, tag my uh, my personal Twitch name, which is uh, Avoid Spoon with two zeros. 
Wait, how much will tribes gold cost in midair? Um, <laughs> what are you asking? Um, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the details of things like in-game currency are not not exactly uh, thought out yet. It's a bit further down the line, so we'll see. I feel like this is already too bumpy, actually. Um, could be a lot better with a lot less. Um, yeah. This terrain material is also not the best for um, doing anything special, although I suppose it doesn't need to be super special. Um, I also... I'm being like super HD, uh, ADHD mode. Um, answering uh, questions and trying to do a million things at once, but uh, please do forgive me. Um, let's see... D. Sean... D. E. Sean... B. W. So for a contributed map making feature, I would rather just use Unreal Software node in to reinvent the wheel. That is true, however, um, I mean that's basically what we would do, or what we are going to do, when, if we can make a uh, map editor. Um, in, similar, in a similar fashion that I believe Arc did it, which is um, that you take Unreal 4 and uh, you modify it, um, essentially stripping it to... Um, to the uh, sort of map making features um, and then yeah that's about it but then like, I mean that's half of it and then half is um, making sure you actually have like a good library of stuff for people to do or for people to use um, because obviously people are not gonna make their own R sets and you can't expect sort of normal normal um, human beings to uh, <laughs> to make art, because it's hard. Trust me guys, but yeah, game art is hard. Um, I think I missed a question. Void, any news about melee weapon? Um, news? Um, Groovar asks if there will be fucking slash stealth stuff. Well, person to ask I guess would be Mabel on Reddit or on the forums uh, but I doubt even he's going to be able to give a definitive answer because it's still something we haven't quite um, finished thinking about stealth stuff well there's your answer and you, yeah it's in an early stage but it's there now sort of starting to dislike this whole thing in the middle um, so I might do something else with it um, yeah, actually um, um, the small kiwi did you make that model voice pool and what model are you referring to small kiwi I mean I made a lot of a lot of models in this game but uh 
exactly how undetectable is the clock pack? Is it like T2 where it made a, where it made a noise that was fairly noticeable? Uh, if you were paying attention. Um, I mean, we're gonna try our best to balance it, I guess, is the answer. Um, again, you'd have to ask someone like uh, Mabel um, in terms of, like, about um, the specifics. Um, Mabel or Bug Spray are gonna be people to uh, try to ask. Um, so did I make the female... Oh, that one. Uh, yeah, no, so that female is actually a really early sketch. Um, and uh, I did not make that particular model, no. Um, I'm not... Um, I mean... So I did make the current light male in terms of... Um, like ninety five percent of it. Um I will be doing character stuff in the future, but um we also have a dedicated character artist. Um so he's doing most of most of the stuff for characters now. Um and I sort of help when needed. And I'll definitely I'm more of a hard surface um hard surface buildings and um sci-fi stuff kind of guy. Um, so things like armor and custom armor sets, for example, is something where you'll probably be seeing my handiwork. Deployable trees. Yeah, sounds pretty fantastic. Speaking of... Oh yeah, I should actually save. Um, if I could type, that'd be great. We're gonna have grab bikes. Um, probably something in that vein. Um, it's possible. Or, it's fairly likely. Will there be a character skin that has a more realistic look to it? Um, I mean, uh, we'll see. Um, I mean, we're not, like, I guess being a bit more light hard, we can do some more, like, very, like, you know, we don't have to sort of adhere to some really strict line guidelines of, um, what we can and can't do. Uh, and we definitely intend to do some silly stuff, so something sort of more classic, um, badass kind of thing, or evil looking like you put it, um, could be possible, and I mean, yeah, I mean, who doesn't like to play a cool dude in all black that looks like a ninja, I guess, or something, um, but I mean, Realistic is a weird word. You know, we're n never gonna be realistic. Um, so. Or not gonna be realistic in, you know, that sense of the word. Um. So. I'm looking on at right, so time about an hour in. Um, which is, I guess, a good point to stop um, fiddling with the terrain uh, because I could just go on forever and make hills and delete the hills and uh, do stuff and I'll probably, you know, tweak um, as I go along still. Um, but, um,. What um I think now that we're gonna hit the second hour I'm gonna move more into the uh buildings and sort of placing assets and thinking about uh, what it looks like more than uh 
just random terrain stuff. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Um, it's a bit... Uh, I'm not too sold. I mean, like I said, this is going to be probably going to be a disaster. I feel like the formula in general to, to tribes maps is um, like just quantity and then you know you call the weak and natural selection <laughs> uh, does its thing and you hopefully end up with one out of fifty that isn't complete garbage. It's generally how it tends to work. Um, which is why I personally uh, would really love to see us getting um, getting um, community map making. Um, but yeah, and oh, but so far, um, yes, throw spaghetti at the wall. That is um, a good analogy. Um, but I mean, obviously, since right now we have the luxury of having a really amazing tester group of uh, great guys with um, a lot of experience and uh, who give a lot of feedback. So, what'll probably happen with this one, um, assuming uh, it gets in, is that. Um, you know, they'll tell me how much it sucks and what needs to change, and uh, I'll listen and feel kind of sad, and then I'll, you know, go and do my thing for a few hours and, or more than a few hours, and uh, you know, come back in the next build in you know the next week or week before that or week after that rather, and uh, you know, hopefully make it better. And we'll just keep doing that feedback loop until um, things are reasonable. Um, questions? Did I miss something? Um, oh, my music stopped. That is interesting. It's probably because I'm muting, using media player for some reason my VLC is gone. <laughs> it's quite amazing. Um community map making was a stretch goal question mark. Yes it is a stretch goal. Uh, meaning that we can't promise it um at launch. Uh it's quite unlikely that it'll be there at launch. But um yeah, we would certainly like to do it. It's just a matter of... Yeah. And yes, about demo recording, we already have demo recording and pretty nice spectating tools. Um, yeah. Interesting that that thing... Looks like it's selected. Okay, there we go. It's gone. So, I'm gonna... Get rid of this guy. Um, let's make that a bit thinner. Um, I would really like to model some stuff. I'll see if I have the need for it. Um, let's see. One thing I wanted to do. I think is um I'm gonna grab some of these rocks but before I do anything like that I'll um wait. I need to check something about this material first. Alright, this is pretty simple. I'm pretty sure my snowy rock one is similar. Does something different. Right. No, I don't need to care about that too much. Um what I'll do is um well 
files are a bit of a mess because I'm awful, but um, I'll. These are like some rocks that I made for a desert scene um, as a test, and I'm gonna, gonna quite like the shapes, and I think they'll work with sort of a uh, rough or um, different color, so I'll uh, make copies of them actually. Material instance. Um, this is. I mean, I'm gonna have to come back and clean all this up, but uh, well, that's how it goes. Um, so I'll put in some cliffs and rocks and stuff, even though people sometimes tend to hate them because uh, they get in the way. But uh, hopefully, that's not. Too, too bad. Um, kind of want to match. Okay, actually managed to match the color pretty well there. I'll be fine. I'll just do that same thing with the others. Feels like some rocks are put there on purpose, even though they're blocking an incredibly good route. It could be the case. Um, I don't know. And, well, yeah, rock bounces are obviously quite the mechanic. Whatever this is, this will be a thing. is of course Kiwi, Kiwi, whether you're gonna cap again after the tragic events in TA. Droughts, I have no idea.
about this, but uh, I've got something there. Feathers are not very nice. Also, I didn't already know that because I mirrored this. Um, actually, I'll um, do that and I'll pray that this mirroring isn't gonna break things. It'll probably break things. Um, oh. Yeah, this is modern, modern stuff. Welcome to decent tools. I say decent, I still rage at it all the time, but uh, you know. some random cliff thingies. I'll probably add some more later. That's um What map am I making? Ask Snark fifty one. Well Nark, this is um CTF meme cave. No, I'm making an arena map. Um. Ha, <laughs> well, no. If you want to suggest names, go ahead. I just named it Arena Test. Because I'm, you know, creative like that, being an art lead and all that. Some rocks. Um, you know, I'll populate some more. I don't want to block things off too much. But uh, we'll see. I'm not too fond of how sort of that rock thing, rock material on the steep hills look like either. But. Uh, That's quite the name, Digits. I can name it that if you um, if you write me a book about the background. <laughs> Snow Ridge. Wow. That's uh, well. I mean, I'm not gonna, not gonna give you shit for a name like that because I literally, literally named the other map. The snow map that you see in the trailer <laughs> named it Icewind. But, uh, yeah. Names are actually really hard. Um, right, building assets. Um, I think I'm gonna go to where all my stuff from Verdant is. Probably. I wonder what I'll what I could do here. Now this is gonna be a bit tricky because um in general um sort of the modular stuff is very, very early on and messy and like there's like sort of a mixture of things that fit together nicely and then things that really don't and it's uh, quite awful but um yeah hello Tyler Market welcome there's a bunch of stuff here um I'm just trying to think of what I could use 
course I've got the good old hallway stuff from Verdant. Um, that's sort of easy, although then again, I'm not really sure if I wanna wanna make any interiors. Interiors are a bit meh. <laughs> Moderately cloudy dance, I like that. struggling to think about what to um, what to do um, I suppose um, actually well if I'm gonna build that I might as well not build it and instead add something from an existing thing I did which is this We've just added another map into this map, which is CTF foliage test, which I did a while ago. That's a test for foliage lighting. I'm just gonna copy um, this stuff from here. Um, we'll do blue stuff only. Oh look, those are weirdly rotated. I'm only, like, don't worry, this this stuff isn't gonna stay here. I'm only, I brought this, because I remember that I made the, um, made this, um, or assembled this stuff here a while ago, so I might as well just bring it in instead of assemble it, it assembling it again. Um, yeah. assemble it, which is nice. Um, yeah. Here you can see how messy this stuff is. Um, ideally I'd want something a bit. Actually I'm gonna, not gonna go into it. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. sense. If I just like scale it up massive, it's gonna be awful. Um, probably not a good idea. Oh god, scale. How do you work? How many of the weapons will be hit scan? Currently there is no hit scan weapons at all. Um, we'll see if there's and I guess a need to introduce something that's hit scan. Um, or, well, I, I mean, I suppose the repair pack is hit scan. But, uh, well. Well. Oh, yeah, shotgun. But, um, well. So we'll 
will this be worth anything? Oh, did I have? Okay. No, that's not good. Go through it. Actually, why not? Mm. I'll modify the terrain to accommodate this. Um, yeah, it's a bit probably fine. up against the wall there. Um, Pistol, yeah, the finger blaster is uh, the best weapon of all time, of course. Assume there's no snap terrain to object tool, then not really. No, um, if there is, then I'm a scrub and I'm not using it. Um, I'm usually <laughs> really good at um, knowing my tools but I have to say the Unreal um, landscape stuff is something I really haven't touched a whole lot um, yeah it's just yeah well I, so far I haven't really had to as much I probably will be in the future um, we'll do that um, actually, one thing I wanted to get in now are, um, or some uh, foliage stuff to get it. Um, you know, make it a bit nicer. Uh, so I can find this stuff. There it is. Like a forest. Yep, tribes. Probably best to tweak the settings first. Tree is yay. Yeah, why not? Um, 
Um, I'll just sort of scatter them around, mainly on the outskirts. I mean, they don't really have collision right now anyway, so they won't block you. But I, main, I want them more as a backdrop than anything. Um, you can maybe him sort of, you know, one there, but otherwise, um, more as a background element. And then, um, while I'm there, I might as well. Is this what I'm looking for? This is something. I wonder what. Oh no, this isn't anything that I want to use at all. There's some block out assets here. Um. So and, uh, questions of um quietened down a bit. Um but please if there's anything you wanna know or anything you want me to talk about then uh I'll go ahead and ask. I'll do my best to answer. Anything at all, especially the uh archetype man calendar. so it's easier to uh, move around uh, a bunch of things. How quickly am I going to get banned when I hack in this game? Probably fairly quickly. I would hope so. Your primary background theory is in general artist type, sorta. Um, yeah. So in case, um, I mean, I guess um, a lot of um, people here are people who haven't watched our Sunday streams, so you may not have uh, seen me do my thing on those. Um, what I mainly do is um, modeling and texturing. Um, as well as things like um, placing assets, assets um, as you can see me doing now, but um, usually, um, yeah. So what I've done, or I've worked on so far for this game is stuff like some of the character work, all the weapons, uh, pretty much all the buildings, um, stuff like that. Um, so my background is... Um, I mean, design is a bit of a weird word because um, that implies you went to design school. There's a lot of different sp you know, specializations for artists. Um, but yeah. Um, if you want clarification, <laughs> I'll just ask. I'm sorry, I didn't, I'm not sure if I really answered that. If I get the archetype man calendar, we'll just sign it with a lipstick kiss, asking for a friend. <laughs> well, maybe if you ask nicely, you might do it. You're gonna have to uh, ask our um, calendar, calendar lead, Ian. Um, and yeah, hard customization. We have a stretch goal for that. Um, it's one of those things where it's nice 
Oh, it would be nice to... Uh, we nice to do, but um, it's just um, tricky. Well, not tricky, just but it, you know, it requires people to work on things. And there's not a whole lot of people or resources. Can't work on everything unless we stop development. I mean, I've been advocating this that we should just stop development. Uh, and work on a cloning machine and then come back with uh, a clone army of free artists and uh, do our thing. Um, and yeah, at this point, no, you can't. We haven't. Um, the UI is still very early on, actually, for one of the more or less polished, less polished um, aspects of the game right now. Um, and we'll keep working on it as we go along. Um, so again, I'm just making this terrain um, conform to the building a bit more. Which isn't going too well with the standard tool, so I'll switch to this. This one's easier, of course, I don't really have to worry about what's happening because I blocked off that entrance. Um, I can you know, flatten this a bit. Um, maybe I'll do something. could actually do something with um, things like hydro erosion, which is kind of a neat look for, for it. Uh, assuming it will work sometimes. Or I guess it's just, um, well, erosion itself is yeah, an interesting thing. I'll turn down the strength a bit, What's dictating what's ice and what's rock or what's snow is rock. Uh, so the material, uh, all it does um, is currently, um, so like this is you know, early and all that. Um, all it does is um, it blends between a snow layer and a rock layer based on uh, the angle uh, of the surface, so the slope basically. So angled stuff is uh, rocky and then uh, stuff that's pointing generally upwards is uh, snowy, uh, and then it blends between them with a the texture here, as you can see. So, so that the uh, be nice. Uh, yeah, but light. Yeah. Um, however, well, for more like advanced stuff, yeah. Uh, I mean, I I could like actually just cut a hole into it um, with. Um, you know, like just um, make parts of it disappear, and that's how you do things like you know underground bases and whatnot. But, you know, do that a lot. Um, I yeah, it, it's good. Though. It's kind of weird to say this since terrain is such a big part of a game like this. But um, like really sort of advanced terrain editing tools aren't that necessary for us. Um, for like, you know, achieving like really good looking stuff simply because, uh, you know, as as much as like, yeah, terrain is important for us, but it's something we're not, like, we're not doing like super, you know, high resolution terrain or anything, um, and we're not, I don't know, you know, not doing like super fancy things. Can't wait to try try a CTF mean cave. Yeah. Well, like I'm sorry to disappoint you. It's actually called AR Arena Test right now. You can see it in the top. It's gonna be yeah, quite exciting. Again, if uh, if you guys uh, in the chat have any <laughs> suggestions for the name, that isn't 
you know, variations of snow, ice ridge thingies than a all ears. It'd be cool to get someone to name, name the maps for us. Has there been any of or dual maps, or will that wait a bit? Well, I mean, I guess this could technically be a dual map. Um, uh, like arena maps. We can probably double as dual maps. Um, unless there's something really specific you have in mind. Um, or yeah, you can duel anywhere. Like those dudes are saying. But yeah, no. Uh, like the main focus uh, has been on on um, CTF. Like, let's say 99% of all the uh, environment work has been on, on CTF stuff. Um, I did make a, a funny little uh, TDN type of thing. Um, as a test, uh, I made a TDN map. Uh, it's actually in the tester build that we have right now. But, um, yeah. I'm curious how skiing portions of the map are created, as in, do you design it first to ensure there are good runs, or just build them up reasonably randomly, and then later go back and balance them up with skiing runs, etc. So, um, if you weren't here at the uh, start of the show, um, I gave a little warning. I'm actually, like, super out of my comfort zone right now. I'm not the primary level designer. Um, I'm like I do a bit of it here and there, but never really. I never really start the maps, and I never really design that part of it. So um, Stealth RG, I think he's gonna do um, a stream, and he's actually gone over stuff like this in his previous Sunday streams. Which, if you, in case you didn't know, we've been streaming every Sunday at a time, like whatever it is. Um, around this time actually, um, every Sunday for the past, I want to say, almost a few months. Um, so I'm sure he can elaborate uh, later on when he's on the stream, or you can go and find those VODs on our YouTube channel. Um, yeah. But, um, I mean, we definitely, like if you're asking, like you're asking about the, um, sort of, um, like if we iterate a lot, or like, you know, if there's no good routes or whatever, then, you know, obviously we iterate, and, um, no, what I can say sort of generally, like, again, I'm not super familiar with exactly what, uh, what stealth, uh, does, well, I mean, I am to a point, but, I, you know, not gonna, like, um, try to, I was gonna try to really like, um, you know, guess at what he's thinking, but, um, so he, um, well, I mean, he's a pretty, de like, good skier, and that's how well he does a lot when he's building maps, is just skiing around in them. Like, he'll block out an idea, um, sort of, uh, I think he sometimes even does, um, like, if it's not his, compu at his computer, He'll um, sketch things on just like pen and paper uh, if he has ideas for maps and how things will flow, and then um, he'll take that into into the engine or into World Machine and uh, block out a map. And from there, he'll you know ski around, try some routes, make like basic bases. Um, excuse me, and um, you know just. Um, tweak and tweak and tweak until um, you know until it's like where he feels like it's a, at a good point. Um, maybe, you know maybe like the other member of the team will look at it at that point, and then um, eventually when you know a map is um, you know it's had a bit of uh, attention, we'll push it to the um, the test build for our tester group to uh, to play and play CTF on it, uh, and then we'll get. Yeah, another round of feedback and they'll really get into it and 
that sort of thing. And while I was doing that length explanation, I probably missed a whole bunch of questions, so uh, apologies. I'll try to go back and see. Where's the pog? Yeah, 8 p.m. EST. It's, um, yeah. Can we see it? Uh, can you see you test out the map a bit and ski around? Yeah, sure. Um, probably haven't been doing it enough. Again, it's, uh, you know, intended more as like an as a arena map, which is why it's so small and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. And again, um, if people weren't here uh, when I started, uh, what, what the idea is and why I'm doing this, which is, like I said, a bit out of my comfort zone, or a lot out of my comfort zone, uh, what I'm doing this is um, I'm, I'm gonna make this arena map, or have been making this. Um, I'll c probably continue a bit after uh, after the stream as well, um, and then later on today, one of our coders, Michael, is actually gonna start implementing implementing the uh, the arena game mode. And this is awful. This valley here. I'll need to do stuff about it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think this, well, it's not, luckily, you know, well, I mean, I can say that it's not, it's hard to mess up a dual map, but, uh, you probably can make some really awful stuff, and, like I said, this is probably going to be a disaster, for like a dual or in map, whatever. Uh, yeah, fall damage is not in the game yet, but it will be. Thanks for, uh, replying to that. It's just something they haven't gotten around to yet. It makes, uh, certainly makes things a lot easier for scrubs like me. Uh, yeah. Not really a map intended for skiing, but I guess you can go around. Also, you can see that the uh, directional jets are pretty strong right now. It's something we'll continue to tweak and evaluate. Are you guys using a commercial game engine, or did you guys make one for the game? This is Unreal 4, which is free, uh, with some, you know, they take, they take a percentage of your profits once you start making profits, but, uh, yeah. And yes, fall damage, I agree, fall damage is something that needs to be in, um, but in general, where, you know, Things are at an early stage, and we've got some you know, m more stuff to implement, and then more stuff to tweak, and all that. Definitely makes things kind of easy for like you know cappers and stuff. If you don't, oh yeah, Desco just I can just see you snarking there, probably sitting on team speaking. Just like talking shit on me. And yeah. Skiing in base. Pretty legit. What's the biggest difference between mid and tribes? <laughs> um If you well I'm not the right person to answer that. Um I definitely want um wanna make you know, innovate and make some cool shit. Right now it's uh obviously gonna look a lot like really basic stuff, like base traps you got like weapons that are are gonna be familiar with uh, to you and uh, yeah but we want to make some interesting things happen and there's definitely you know things like lag comp like modern lag comp and like really focusing heavily on getting uh, getting the movement and the physics to feel good that sort of thing I mean, it doesn't really sound exciting as a difference but yeah We should probably just stop skiing around. I never equipped that the pack. Oh well. 
Uh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> right. More building stuff. Um, so I've got. Hmm. I don't know. Should an inventory map have? Uh, should um. Should this map have inventories? I'm kind of not sure. I guess it could. Should probably have them. Also, this looks ugly. Oh, why not? I guess I could cover that up with like snow meshes. I have some somewhere. Maybe I'll try that later. Uh, you know, put some snow on the roof. Uh, but now I'll um, have to think about what I do with these things. Definitely don't want this to even be like a box. I'll wanna. Well, I'm not sure how much stuff I have in here that I can. that I can really um. really use to push. Um, Yeah, I know what you mean, Destiny. Um, it's it's especially hard when you're, uh, or especially easy, I should say, to get um, sort of caught or stuck just um, skiing around on a map you're making, um, just sort of zone out for 20 minutes, and then realize you haven't got any work done because you're just skiing. So. This isn't no I use this. Of course I have things like pretty much a pre made tower that I could pop on, but I'm not I don't wanna really use that. Um I could build something from scratch. No. Like I said, that's why oh well, yeah. <laughs> Generally don't want, well, I guess five hours tends to be, I guess that would be like sort of bordering on the, like if we're talking about us as a, a sort of, you know, like me as a as an art lead to like thinking about um, efficiency and all that. I think a couple of hours per like sort of prototype map um, before pushing it for, you know, a feedback loop. Um, yeah. I yeah, I think I've got a decent idea of what I'll do with this. I'm still not sure. Um, sorry, I'm thinking about what I could do visually with this thing. Uh, like I said, it's a shame I don't have that much time. It's like we're all already running out of time. We've got about ten to fifteen minutes more. But um. I mean, you're never gonna really, like, with modular assets, it's not, because everything is kind of, uh, when you think about modular pieces, like, things are planned out in a sort of square or rectangular format, so then, like, doing interesting, like, angled and curved stuff gets more challenging, and so for, like, anything really interesting silhouette-wise, you kind of would need to sort of do a custom piece, but uh, we'll see what I can come up with. Gonna start probably with walls. Very interesting. Um, walls, yeah. Um, I'm just like shamelessly scaling things up. Um, to the point where some 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 details may not really hold up, but um, well, let's see. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe if I just well, I certainly need to do is enable snapping so I can get stuff. Um, get stuff aligned a bit better. I wonder how this would look with just like paneling on the walls. I am pressing the wrong button. I've got a new keyboard and it's not not a whole lot of fun. Mm, it's a bit busy as a wall thingy, maybe. Yeah it is. 
Rangers. God damn it. And, um, yeah, uh, again, so I'm gonna be wrapping up in the next 10 ish minutes. So if you've got any final questions, anything you want me to talk about, um, yeah, feel free. Or any requests or anything like that, you know, uh, name suggestions. Actually, before I even do anything with those, I wanna. Experiment with the lighting a bit. Um, I'm still using the D4. Oh, hey, Swiss milk. Yeah, no problem. Um, it was interesting the stuff you were doing. I hope I helped. Uh, gonna experiment with the lighting angle a bit. Um, I mean, yeah. Quest to our Sonic and Paint. And maybe some other time. So we're gonna. Where's my Sky Sphere? Why can't I find my Sky Sphere? Oh, it is there. Am I just blind? I guess I'm just blind. So, sky refresh material. Oh, hello. We're getting some night action. Yeah, that could be interesting. All right. And to add to that, we'll do some some of that. Obviously the uh, horizon looks awful because we've got an empty background and uh, yeah. I think this will be, this can be kind of cool, right? Um, and then we can do, um, just those a bit. I don't really like them. We need to tweak them. These clouds are too realistic, but, uh, works for now. So, putting stuff together takes a while, occasionally, which, uh, which is why it's, uh, well, I mean, depends on what your definition of a, you know, time consuming is, I guess.
Oh, hey, that's awesome to hear, Luigi. Thank you for your contribution. Uh, I'm gonna swap the material on this, which works just like that. So, like I said, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, if any final questions? Or if... Um, anything at all, I'll... Um, I'll be here a while, and I'll be in the chat uh, later as well. But, um, yeah, thank you everyone for uh, tuning in, and uh, I hope this was uh, somewhat interesting and informative. And, uh... I'll be on tomorrow doing some uh, something that I'm a bit more comfortable with. I think you'll like what I'm gonna do tomorrow. Well, well, I'm not even gonna read your name, but um, what happens to us when we die is. Uh, I think we generally rot, is the, the answer to that. But, uh. Yeah. I'm gonna try to find my OBS now. There it is. And, um. Ciao.